Hi, my name is Joe. I manage the Section 609 program in the Office of Marine Conservation. Through the program, we certify that wild caught shrimp harvested in certain nations is eligible to enter the United States because they capture this shrimp without adversely affecting sea turtles. They do this by harvesting the shrimp in very cold or very deep waters, by not using trawlers, or if they have trawlers, by using a turtle excluder device, or TED. This is a model of a TED, a simple but effective device based on a design by U.S. fishermen and refined by the National Marine Fisheries Service over decades. A TED can be made for less than $200 or three times that amount. It all depends on the cost of the materials and labor. As things pass through the net into the TED, the bars, spaced four inches apart, allow only shrimp and other small items to flow into the bag. The TED excludes all things bigger, including large fish like sharks, mammals such as dolphins, trash and debris, as well as sea turtles. Under normal conditions, this flap would be closed due to the flow of the water. But nonetheless, all these larger items will exit the trawl through the opening, which is designed to allow the leatherback, the largest sea turtle, to escape the net. Of course, proper installation and maintenance of the TED is important to ensure the escape of sea turtles and the capture of shrimp. Keep watching to see a TED in action. The Department of State and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, implements Section 609 of Public Law 101-162, which prohibits the importation of wild-caught shrimp harvested in ways that may adversely affect sea turtles. The Department certifies to Congress if importing economies have adopted a regulatory program to reduce the incidental taking of sea turtles in its shrimp trawl fisheries, such as through the use of turtle excluder devices or TEDs. Officers at U.S. embassies advocate with their host governments to mandate the use of TEDs in their fishing fleets. The Department makes certifications annually based on overseas verification visits by Department and NOAA representatives.